So what's one compliance issue that credit unions might not be aware of that they should be aware of? Well, I think one thing that has kind of flown under the radar for credit unions is the FFIEC guidance that was issued in November of 2016 that revises the compliance rating system. Uh, this is the first time it's since the 80s that it's actually been changed, but and the NCUA was part of that issuance, but for some reason it just really um, kind of was overlooked, but it takes effect March 30th. And the big piece of this is that all of this guidance um, multi-page document is tied to a credit union's compliance management system. And so it really just reinforces the importance of having a really strong CMS in place. What was behind this change? Why, why now after so long? I think the, the idea was to try and uh, create some consistency among all of the prudential regulators and also to take into account the effect of technology in um, exams. So I think it's very telling that all of the uh, federal regulators as well as state regulators came together in agreement to issue this. So it will be the same across the board for everyone, which makes things more fair. So if I'm a credit union compliance officer and I'm just the first I've heard of it, what, what advice would you offer me? Uh, the first thing I would do is uh, Google it. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, take a look at it, read what it says, and then compare that to what you have in place, um, especially your compliance management systems. I'm still finding credit unions that don't really even have a compliance management system yet. So obviously that's going to be very important to get that started. And then, and, and then as I said, compare what it says to what your practices are and identify any gaps that you might have.